Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Simpson here. Just wanted to talk a little bit about fishing this weekend. Um, I went out with my friend Pat. It was a total grind. Saturday and Sunday we fished. Saturday was bad for me. I didn't catch anything. And then Sunday I caught a few. Um, but anyway, got some new lures. Wanted to share those with you. Got a new popper from Lunker Hunt. And it was only $3.99. And it's just called the popper. And it's in the color that they call Rough Night. I think it looks pretty cool. It's got a decent popping mouth. It uh, has a rattle inside. It's kind of dull sounding rattle. It's not real clanky. It's uh, not too bad and uh, has a really good profile. It's a pretty heavy bait so you can cast it on the bait caster no problem and you could throw this on spinning gear. No issue. And then the other one is, that, that's about a half ounce by the way. And the other one also $3.99 was really cheap. It's the Lunker Hunt Poppin' Frog. And it's just a popper that looks kind of like a frog. And this one's a quarter ounce. I threw this on the BFS with no problems. Um, I didn't catch any fish on it, but I'm confident that it'll work because it has a really nice popping profile, big boil, a big bubble. And then the third thing that I picked up, this was $8.99. And this is called the Prop Fish. The Prop Fish has a, just like it says, a prop tail that spins when it swims through the water and it's a soft body and collapses like a frog and it's weedless so could be an option to a frog but today what seemed to work for me ultimately was again my favorite lure lately is the pop r it's been working really well it's kind of uh helping with the finicky bite it's been a real tough bite um, so i've been throwing things like this uh tackle frog and these frogs will uh maybe draw a strike or two, but they won't commit or it won't be a big enough fish to take it. So then I'll follow up with the popper. So it's the same concept, you know, when you're fishing with top water and somebody says, oh, if they miss the top water, throw a Sanko. So if they miss my big top water, I just throw a small top water, see if I can follow it up. But anyway, take a look uh, at a couple of catches that I've got today. And then um, there was a funny thing that happened. I had a lure get stuck in a tree and there was a snake that I thought was just a regular snake, but I think it may have been poisonous. Anyway, if you can ID this snake, if it shows up on the video, let me know what you think it is. Um, but I didn't mess around with it. And um, I let the, let the snake have my lure today because that's the nice thing about these uh, Rebel Pop R's. They cost about five bucks. So to lose a lure in the tree isn't quite as painful as the more expensive lures. But anyway, have a good rest of the weekend. I'll see you guys soon. like they're not committed to doing what they're doing. Popper fish. Little guy. Ow, 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 ow. You little shit. Got me. No, oh, that's that's a good fish, dude. Look at this broad. It's a BFS. He's a two at least, I think. Well, maybe one and okay. They feel so much bigger on this rod. Look at that, I would have sworn that was four pounds. <laughs> it's a pound and a half, maybe. Not bad.
Look at that. He, I wasn't even looking. Yeah, he's a little one. Manageable. Wow, these hooks really get them. There's nothing to look at though. Hey, a fish is a fish. Oh my God. Didn't touch it. Didn't touch it. Complete miss. It's gone. Oh shit. He completely missed it. Well, that was crazy. Let's see if I can follow it up with some finesse. <clears throat> Muddiest shit I've ever been in in a while. Okay, let's see if I can get him on this popper. Try not to lose the popper. Pat. That's a good one. That's a good one. Now that's a healthy fish. I followed up with a popper. Sweet. That's a good fish, man. I think that was the same guy who tried to choke my frog. I don't know. Let's see if I can get this out without hurting him too bad. Got him. That's my fish of the day right there, boy. Good two pounder, solid. I know it doesn't look like it on the GoPro, but that is a good fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, I stay low. Like that's, that used to be my honey hole right there. I'd throw a whopper plopper up under that tree and that would just be like, you know, third cast I'd have one. Yes! That's a good fish too, man. Yes! Keep them, keep them. Yeah, Pat. I got this one all on tape. <laughs> I didn't see the hook set though. Was it a big blow up? Uh, he hit it pretty good. Yeah, he hit it pretty good. Yeah, he's putting some uh, work on that rod. Yeah, nice fish, man. That's a three. Easy. That's a solid three. Told you there's fish up here, man. <laughs> Had to wait all day for that one, but it was worth it. At least. He's probably heading to three. Look how messed up his uh, gill plate cover is. Looks chewed. That's a great bass, man. Told you there's a couple, couple goodies up here. Well, that's the end of that lure. Whoa, whoa, snake. Uh, he's not scared of me. Whoa, he's got a fat head, dude. He's like a very copper brown looking snake and he, he keeled right up on me like he was ready to go. 
I think I'm gonna let him have that popper. Yeah. He don't like playing, man. <laughs>